Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. For 894 days, Ukraine defends itself against the forces of the Russian invasion. Another Olympic medal for Ukraine. Ukrainian gymnast Ilya Kovtun won a silver medal in the men's parallel bars exercise final at the Paris Olympics on 5th of August, reports champion ComUA. Kovtun finished fourth twice in the all-around final round and men's floor exercise final last week, losing to the bronze medalists by less than one point. The 20-year-old gymnast scored 15,500 points, which is 0.7 points less than earned by the winner of the competition, Zhu Juan from China. Japanese athlete Shinosuke Oka took third place with 15,300 points. This is Kovtun's first Olympic medal. The two-time World Championships medalist made his Games debut at the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, which was postponed to 2021 due to the COVID pandemic finishing 11th in the men's individual all-around. Another Ukrainian gymnast Oleg Vernyayev finished 8th in the men's parallel bars exercise final, scoring 13,300 points. Ukraine received a 3.9 billion US dollars grant from the United States through the World Bank, reports Ekonomichna Pravda. According to Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Megal, these funds will help finance priority budget expenditures such as salaries of teachers, doctors and rescuers, social assistance. This is the first tranche of direct budget support from the United States in 2024. In total, Ukraine will receive 7.8 billion US dollars in direct budget aid. In his union video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Ukraine's partners for their support. He informed that Kyiv is working with the European Union to obtain about 4 billion euros in assistance that Ukraine needs in August. In addition, Zelensky and Shmigal discussed some important practical details regarding the use of Russian assets frozen by Ukraine's partners. Quote, there is a G7 decision on 50 billion US dollars for Ukraine from the use of Russian assets. And we are now working with our partners in Europe and America on concrete implementation. Unquote. The head of state stressed that this is something that is critical for Ukraine and can strengthen it in this particular autumn and winter season. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The death rate in Ukraine in 2024 is expected to be three times higher than the birth rate, reports the SNUA. In the first half of 2024, 87,655 children were born in Ukraine. This was 9% less than in the same period last year. At the same time, 250,872 deaths were recorded during this period. Today, there are three deaths per newborn in Ukraine. In 2018 to 2020, this figure was two deaths per child. The most newborns and deaths were registered in the Dnipropetrovsk region and Kyiv. According to the Ministry of Health, since 2013, the birth rate in Ukraine has been decreasing by approximately 7% every year. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, when a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.